They could get in the top four. Yeah, most definitely. Athletic Club have had a great second half of the season, haven't they? A 3-2 victory. It then gives them three points. And just to confirm what that means, as Craig mentioned, their chance for a top four place. They are two points adrift of Atletico Madrid. Barca sitting third. Six points now separate Real Madrid and Girona at the top of the table, which, remember, is seven points, really, because in Spain, it's head-to-head -head and not goal difference that separates teams level on points. That's it. I wouldn't it? be feeling good if it was Barcelona, where I am. But they won against Celta Vigo, as you know. Uh, Xavi said they played well. They did not. Uh, so their position is vulnerable. But six points. I just, I, I, I just feel that where they lost momentum, that crazy Vardis offside in the Real Sociedad yeah. games, where they dropped two points. Yep. So all of a sudden, they chins down going to the Bernabeu. The Michel suspension to the stands for the multiple yellow cards, the coach, who has been great. And then they missed a couple of players through injury. Dovbik for a bit, Daily Blind. I think Herrera was out for a, for a game or two as well. And I just think they've lost momentum. Savinho's lost a bit of form. The supply chain to Dovbik yeah. hasn't been as good as it's been. And the back line is looking uh, very creaky. That being said, Real Madrid were no oil painting at the weekend either. No, but it's a big head start to give someone like It's a Real big head start that, to that, give that, an experienced Real Madrid. That's the problem, isn't it? And, and Shaq, what it was and what be frustrating, <coughs> all three of those goals were avoidable. Were of your own doing. Were, were absolutely avoidable. And, and why, I, as I was saying, why we've praised Girona for that all season long and, and how, how they've been willing to take chances and, and, and have been rewarded for it, it, it just came back to, to, to haunt them this time around. So while we could say, well, now, yes, it's, they've, they've fallen off and the wheels have come off, nobody expected us to be having these kind of conversations about Girona. I, I still think whatever comes of this season, they, they will and should be celebrated. Um, but this has to be a big learning curve for them as well, for, for Michel as well, that sometimes you've just got to do what's needed, not what you've kind of been told to do. Had they done what was needed today, they quite easily could have won 1-0. Seven clear of Athletic Club, Girona, are who sit in fifth. Are they going to make it the top four? Uh, yeah, I think they'll make the top four, uh, to be honest with you, because I think they're a good side. Uh, still playing some nice football, not creating as much as they were. If they can just cut out those silly mistakes at the back, I, I think they'll win enough games. But I could see a, a Athletic Club getting in the top four. They're a really good side to watch. Uh, they play a good attacking football and, you know, the team that are not playing uh, the football that's arguably needed at the moment is Barcelona. Yeah. And whether they're going to do enough to get in this top four, I, I just think remains to be seen. So if I was Girona, I'd be feeling OK about it. Probably not going to win the league. If I was an athletic club, I definitely think I could I, get I, I, I agree. I, I think, Girona, you learn from today's mistakes. I think you'll be, you'll be all right and there's still a lot to celebrate uh, the, the, this season. Um, the, the big question, and, and which Craig just answered, is who, who misses out if I'd let the club <coughs> squeezes in? And while Barcelona somehow managed to get results every now and then, it, it's less and less convincing. And the whole Javi situation, I, I, don't, think, I don't think helps their cause any. Uh, so, Jerome will be...